774,000 jobs. Festus Kiamo threatens to resign if the Minister of State, Labor and Employment, Festus Kiamo, on Tuesday threatened to resign his appointment if the 774,000 jobs approved by President Muhammad Buhari under the Special Public Works Program of the National Directorate of Employment for Unskilled Labor in Rural Areas is hijacked by politicians. The pilot scheme program was to be implemented in five local government areas in eight states, identified as Adamawa, Borno, Ebonyi, Edo, Ekiti, Jigawa, Katsina, and Kwara. He spoke at the inauguration of the Interministerial Committee on Extended Special Public Works across the 774 local governments of the Federation in Abuja. According to him, the program was designed to mitigate the effect of unemployment in a rural area through short-term engagement of 1,000 unemployed persons per local government for a period of three months. Beneficiaries, he noted, are engaged in drainage digging and clearance, irrigation canals clearance, rural feeder road maintenance and maintenance of the Great Green Wall nurseries as well as orchards. Others are traffic control, street cleaning, cleaning of public infrastructures like health centers, schools, and the likes. A total of 40,000 direct transient jobs were expected to be created in the eight pilot states. He said, this is not for PDP or APC who will want a slot from my local government because I am a politician. But I assure you it will not happen. I will leave this job if they want to insist that it will happen. Mr. President is targeting ordinary Nigerians who are neither APC nor or PDP or just anything. They just want, jo want to get jobs. They just want to feed their family. This is not a time for us to empower our followers as politicians. We are going to dig deep. It is one of the recommendations you are going to make. That is why you are here. He further explained that the program, which is a dry season transient job project, targets the rehabilitation and maintenance of public and social infrastructure with the participants largely drawn from the pool of unskilled rural workers. He urged members of the public and the committee to make recommendations on how best the projects can be executed. Recommend to us a model to adopt. We will meet Mr. President for approval. The various interest groups, traditional rulers, National Union of Road Transport Workers representative of the people, and so on. Those who have direct contact with the people at the grassroots. Let us make it clear today. We are not going to bow down to the pressure of any politician to come and hijack this program. It will be well modeled, well executed, and it will reach ordinary Nigerians. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? The, 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 the job creation, according to the Minister of State for Labor, has come out to say that 
the 774,000 jobs that um, the president has uh, approved, you know, for unskilled workers in all local governments, you know, will not be hijacked by politicians or else he would resign if it turned out that way. Now, questions that we need to ask ourselves is, one, this job is lasting for three months. Then, after three months, what happens to these guys? According to, to uh, Festus Kiyama, what happens to these guys? Then also, within this period of three months, how much are they going to be paid? For those who really do not have jobs, and if this job is actually to mitigate against the unemployment, then after the three months, what happens to these guys? Are they going to be back to unemployment? So now, what model do they want to employ in actually getting people to employ for, or, or apply for this job? And how do they intend to really know those who are unemployed and those who truly need this job? And how do they intend to forestall politicians from actually hijacking the program for their own personal people? These are some of the challenges. These are some of the issues that are on the ground. It is a custom thing for Nigerian politicians to actually um, share and divide those jobs amongst themselves. Whenever opportunities like this come up or when there are employments, for instance, look at the jobs that uh, the people that were employed at the Federal Inland, Road, Federal Inland Revenue Service, I beg your pardon, those are the Nigerian Army, uh, the Nigerian police, um, uh, CBN jobs, you know, all those top jobs now goes to politicians via slots. Probably from the office of the Senate, the Senate President, you know, the Senators, House of, uh, House of Rep members, and all what have you, all have slots. And at the end of the day, they collect, some of them collect money from people that runs into hundreds of thousands to give them the job if they do not have their personal persons or girlfriends or you know people like that to put in the job or in the position that is how you know people get jobs in nigeria uh for some time or that has been the way for some time so now Festus Kiyama is trying to say that he would not allow that to happen does he have what it takes to actually forestall it not to make it happen can he actually you know fight these politicians, can he stop them from hijacking the program if they really put up their mind and decide to hijack the program? These are questions that need answers. How would people know what is happening? What are the measures have put in place for the employment? How are these guys going to be employed? All these and many more questions are actually begging for answers. It's not enough to come on national TV and make announcement. I will resign if this is that. I will do this if this is happen. I will do this if this is that. And all what have you. It's not enough. But the challenge is, how does the people that actually need this job get the job? And what is the sustenance level of this job at the end of the day? So we really need these issues to be well uh, articulated and well, um, you know, dealt with. Nigerians are going through more, a lot of challenges. Now, the COVID-19 pandemic has actually gone ahead to worsen issues and put more pressure on the citizens. One would expect that the government would, you know, be on the ground and would have concluded plans to ensure that there is a sustained effort to make sure that people do not go hungry and jobs are not lost. But be that as it may, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Will first of all, truly resign even if they hijack it? I doubt. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but I doubt. Because he does not look like somebody who would, you know, um, walk alone or stand alone if others are actually, you know, compromising. Because from the look of things, as far as I'm concerned, he compromised when he joined the APC. He became the spokesperson during the election and um, all what have you. And at the end of the day, he got um, a slot to become a minister. So he didn't stand alone. He, he was not fighting against the government. He was not fighting for the people or speaking for the people as it were, you know, but he was speaking for himself. So coming out to tell the public that he would resign if the, I see it as a, as, as 
not true as a blatant lie. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But be that as it may, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.